So, this is where we have the original that we made. It goes like this. That can go like that, and this guy can go like this. Um, the problem we had was uh, multiple problems. So this is a problem right now. It kind of we have to make it where it doesn't hit that. But also, we need it where um, when this one goes like this, it's going to be twisted at a weird angle. And these guys go like this. See, angle is not going to make it. So we. 3D printed these little guys. I made this. This is our own little, um, I guess, ball joint. We 3D printed that. 3D printed this. This is actually two pieces. And the ball is right here. This is like actually the ball the same size we just cut out. And this is just a little piece that we actually glued on, which is also formed to the ball. And it holds the ball in from coming out. And we applied a little bit of light, light, or uh, white lithium grease on there, and it really moves around. So this is going to be our, oops, our ball joint. But this is not made for the ball joint. So we 3D printed a whole nother set. This is actually two pieces that are glued together. So instead, I just made it one piece. And we also had this piece here that when it moves, it kind of hits against here. So we kind of changed it where it's going to be like this now, as in this piece, it's angled over. So it's not going to hit that anymore. And the top piece is this one right here. It's going to hook onto here and go back and forth. It's also no longer have this piece here on it. It's going to have this. It's just going to be flat, and it's going to attach through a screw to the ball joint. And then this will be hooked onto here and kind of be able to move around a lot better with the freedom to move around. Um, we have to reprint these because this was actually this was this was printed. The original is printed on my resin printer. Today, we got a, a Venture 4, I've been, I think it's Flash Forge printer, um, and this is the first thing we printed. Um, unfortunately, when I sliced it in, show it needed, I have to adjust the settings where it makes the support, because when I sliced it, it didn't show I needed support on it, but apparently I did. It's actually printed like this. This is printed flat. We actually printed this piece too. So I'm going to sand it a bit. But that should go down here. And we'll be able to move this up and down and pin it where we need it once we get the position correct. The original one, we didn't have much room for error. It only went up, you know, just barely went off and on. This one will be able to go all the way down. And we'll be able to adjust it to find out the proper place for because we want to have a neutral position for this where at the point where this is at halfway down these will be neutrally flat so the head will be flat so it can either go one way one the same amount of direction one way and same amount of direction the other and forward and back too so we want to have a neutral position for that um, so we have to reprint this one actually didn't turn out bad I think I might actually keep it um, we print this one. The awesome thing about this printer is that our to print this in our resin printer probably would have took I want to say about eight hours, maybe nine hours, sometimes ten. This literally took forty minutes. I know it's brand new. Amazing. We'll be able to get this robot done a lot faster with this new printer. Just wanted to give you guys an update and Thank you for watching, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and please give me a thumbs up.